Friends, do you want to know what techniques were used to create all the pink Barbie land and how the cars actually drive in Barbie land? Stay to find out how it was all done. Let's get started. Greta Gerwig is an advocate of using practical effects and prefers to use minimal computer-generated imagery or CGI. Greta even mentioned that using CGI on actors would be an absolute nightmare not only because of the time and financial cost, but also because CGI would take away the authenticity of what is shown on screen. Instead of having the actors shoot these moments on a green or blue screen, and then using computer graphics elements, Greta decided to create everything without the aid of computer graphics, which helped create the sense of two-dimensionality that can be seen in the finished scenes. Greta said that every time they shot a transportation scene it was the most satisfying thing to watch. She added, I decided I wanted it to look like a diorama at the Natural History Museum. Each box contains a scene, and I wanted them to kind of go through that scene, and then come out and then move on to the next scene," Greta said. Production designer Sarah Greenwood explained that they studied how it's done in theater, where the foreground moves very fast and the rest of the elements move a little slower as they approach the background. Each element of the transition scene that you see moving is actually moved by crew members on the Barbie set during filming. For example, for the long tandem bike being ridden by Mazel employees, bouquets of flowers were on the path and passed by them to create the illusion that they were cycling through a field. This same setup was used in all the scenes where Ken and Barbie go on the trip. The same was used in the scene with Barbie's pink boat, where the details inside the boat are clearly visible. For clarity, the equipment resembling blue cylinders was additionally used to create the effect of ocean waves, and the scenery turned out to be both very cool and completely unrealistic. It's funny that many things had to be done the old-fashioned way by hand, because we wanted to evoke the style of old commercials with Barbie dolls, made in a similar way. For example, if we talk about the boat scene, two things were done by hand. One, the seagull scaring Ken was held by an assistant who held a plastic bird on the end of a stick. The other thing is that the dolphins we see and hear in the movie were handled by literally two people who were right under the boat. And the funniest scene we thought was the one where Ken tries to reach the rocket and Barbie sits on it in space. Of course, in the movie, the cables were removed, but originally in the studio if you look closely you can see four cables that held the guy Barbie in the air. Even planets in space are held up by steel cables to keep them floating in space. It may surprise you, but most of the movie Barbie was filmed in the UK. Barbie is a project of Warner Bros, and the movie company has a studio in Leavesden, England where most of the movie was filmed. Actually in this place and was created Barbie Land. Thus all scenes happening in Barbie land simply do not exist in real life, so it is impossible to visit it. But where were the real scenes filmed? When you saw Barbie and Ken walking out of Barbie land into the real world, the filming location may have looked familiar to you. That's because the real scenes were filmed in Los Angeles, California. When we first saw Barbie, we saw Margot Robbie and Ryan Gosling rollerblading around the outskirts of Venice Beach. It turned out that this spot wasn't used very often, but it's a place to visit nonetheless. In an interview with Letterboxd, Greta talked about the 33 classic movies that inspired Barbie, such as The Wonderful Wizard of Oz, Singing in the Rain, An American in Paris, The Red Shoes and more. Greta explained that since the first Barbie doll was released in 1959, she felt she could ground everything in the style of 1950s musicals. This included hand-painting all the sets you see in Barbie Land, because classic musicals had beautiful artificial skies. The painted backdrops combined with lighting techniques helped create stunning color in the scenery. Overall, very little computer graphics were used in Barbie Land so it looks like a toy. This meant that everything from the houses to the props inside were built by the art department of the movie. The production artists even had to physically shrink everything by 23% to create the feeling of Barbies and Kens being crammed into smaller spaces, like when you play with real dolls and accessories. When it comes to the scenic locations where Barbie and Ken are traveling outside of Barbie land, elaborate and high-tech sets had to be built to make everything feel organic. For example, in the scene where Barbie and Ken ride in the pink convertible, a treadmill was used to create a moving landscape and the prototype car was in motion. You heard right, a prototype, because it wasn't actually a car, at least not a real one. From the outside it looked like the famous pink Barbie convertible car, but on the side were the actors where there were no comfortable seats or anything like that, just the structure they were sitting on and the steering wheel. The same principle was used in the scene where Barbie and Ken ride their bikes through a field of flowers. In reality, they were just pedaling in place and the floral landscape was created by the motion of the treadmill. 
Even the executives at Mattel, the company that created Barbie, enjoyed the experience of feeling like they were pedaling without ever leaving the recording studio. For example, the background image of a landscape with the sea, palm trees, coconuts, and mountains was entirely hand-drawn by artists hired for this purpose. It was very realistic and much better than if computer graphics with green screens and CGI had been used. Real landscapes were chosen as references, especially from Malibu where Barbie lives, so the scenery is very similar to Barbie's real life. The same approach was used to create the background scenery of the road Barbie travels from Barbie land to the real world. The background scenery is done entirely in artistic colors. For those who thought that only pink paint was used in the movie about the world's most famous doll, this is proof that other colors were also used. After all, otherwise even the sky in the movie would have been pink. The Barbie movie was liked by critics and audiences alike, receiving overwhelmingly positive reviews and reactions for its visual effects, meta-humor, and overt feminist themes. However, after the movie was found to have gained a lot of popularity, its viewership rating on Rotten Tomatoes plummeted. The Barbie movie received mostly positive reviews from critics and audiences alike, but it was not without fair criticism and scorn from those determined to dislike it before it was even released. Another very interesting thing the production team did was to create a small version of what Barbie Land would look like, as a mock-up made entirely by hand. This served as the model for creating a life-size Barbie Land. Although it was incredibly labor-intensive, creating a full-sized super pink city where all those Barbies and kids could have fun, dance and live their perfect lives became much easier. And of course, the inspiration for the work came from all the toys, houses and accessories that were and are familiar to millions of little girls around the world. When creating all of Barbie's objects and trinkets, every tiny detail was taken into account. Margaret Robbie has detailed the behind-the-scenes footage used to film a viral scene with Barbie showcasing Barbie's perfection where she walked without her heels touching the ground. Released in April, the first trailer for Greta Gerwig's highly anticipated movie showed a close-up of Robbie's feet as she slips out of a pair of fluffy pink heels. However, instead of standing normally, Robbie remains on tiptoe, hinting at what the toy doll looks like. In an interview with Fandango, Robbie finally gave answers to all the burning questions, and she said the following, Yeah, those were my feet. We had little sticky pieces of double-sided shoe tape on the floor to keep the shoes from coming off, and also I was holding onto a bar. Guys, write in the comments whether you have already gone to this movie and rate it from 1 to 10. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel and like it. See you very soon.